Oh, and welcome to one and all this fine morning 9th of june where has this year gone it seems to be scooting by but got my coffee looking out the window the sky's blue the woods look really pretty today so the world's pretty good but are the charts any good well let's find out so we'll flip it over onto my screens start with the economic news as always not a great deal about today guys um well i'll rephrase that there's a lot of news but nothing of any major consequence uh it's starting around now uh there's quite a bit of sort of euro news up to about 10 30 quarter to 11 this morning um it's not really going to shake the markets around too much um it's just gonna steady away but as we move into the afternoon right the way through as you can see to six o'clock tonight there is a lot a lot of us news so you want to be looking at sort of pound dollar and euro dollar today um it's going to be little bits of movement in them there is every day with those pairs and when the markets are pretty flat as they are this week kind of go to your go-to majors uh, for me it's always kind of cable uh, pound jpy that sort of thing uh, but there's nothing there really to be concerned about it's just one after the other so it'll be like a little bit of a ripple effect through the afternoon now when i've gone through the market this morning it's pulled out some and they're not great uh, let, let's just put it that way the markets are pretty flat the dollar has fell off the top spot again uh, it, it crawled its way up into the strongest position a couple of days ago and it's now slipping back as is the pound but if you look at the change of strength the pound is the one that is increasing over the dollar uh, that'll explain the spike this morning and of them all it is slim pickings but what it's pulled out is this lot it's kind of telling you what the strongest is and what the weakest are so you can do your your crosses um the only one of consequence for me today is kind of pound jpy um why it's one of those products that moves every day and this is kind of confirming it the thing to remember with any kind of sheet like this whether you see it on finviz trading view investing.com whatever they are a guide not a direction picker it's just telling you what products are, are moving around at this time so i know these are moving and um, today it, it's still well i'll show you on the charts it, it, it's the easiest way there's it's just flat flat as a pancake as you can see everything's kind of sitting in between levels now if i had to have a gun to my head and say you're going to trade something today it is the pound gap why why because it is moving up and it's on a level i like to trade around levels uh, why because i know they are reaction points and that's why you see me do it all the time so something's going to happen it's either going to bounce off it or it's going to break through it so they become good areas of attraction all right so that there is currently at a bob level but would i trade it no because the market's not stretched it hasn't had any strong drives and and even looking at just basic indicators they're all kind of middle of the road so it makes it very difficult to judge and i won't enter the market unless i'm pretty sure i'm looking for what i call a1 a2 setups if i don't have them i basically don't enter the market the only time i would is if i'm doing a swing trade and then it is completely mechanical and it doesn't matter what the situation on the chart is i will enter into a swing trade if my criteria is met and reason being I've got no idea what the charts are next week and I don't care who anybody is you listen to um, nobody knows what's going to happen next week because it's the future 
but I can look at a day chart and I can make a prediction for the next couple of hours. And as you see on a regular basis, I can normally nail it. But that's because it's the here and now. It's actually what's happening now. Don't get it right all the time, but I do have a higher than average hit rate. And if I was to be trading today, the only one of this basket that's jumping out is oil. This one. But even this, I still wouldn't be looking to, break, to trade it because it doesn't fit all of my criteria. Um, it is at a level, it's kind of stretched, but it's not stretched far enough to make a decision. So the best thing I can do, sit on my hands and drink my coffee. But that's what this slot shows. And in some ways it's a good thing because it's telling you, you can't just come to market and think, well, I'm here, give me a trade. I need a trade. Marks don't work like that. Um, it, it's just, it's silly to think that. If you are doing that, it's basically gambling. For me, everything has to, to tick off. I'm also looking at this slot. Uh, and again, this is my basket of the pairs that I mainly look at. There's nothing in this lot either. Uh, the difference between them is the first screen you saw is kind of my wage account. That's where I get my wages from. This is the prop firm that I'm trading and I trade them in unison. I've got three screens here and I have one on one screen, one on another, and I'll have a monitoring screen there. And I just watch them. So there's nothing here either. <laughs> so I'll just be waiting and I'll just read the, the news and one thing across the morning. Now, if you can't work out strengths and you're not rightly sure what you're looking for when you're looking at a screen like this, if you go over onto trading view uh, and if you want it, it's all free to use. Uh, there's a link for it in the description below. You can use screeners and market analysts. Th this site is good and I, I use it pretty much for the news and this sort of thing. I like Finviz as well and I also like investing.com. Um, but to give an idea of what this is, you can start flicking through and it'll tell you whether you're going to be a buy or a sell. It's not accurate. But what it will do is if you look for a strong sell and a strong buy out of these pairs, you can then drill into it. So just argument sake, we go onto there. And you get all the data that you need. It will tell you exactly what you want. You can drill right into it. And then you can get your ideas from it. There you are. And it will show you what's going on all the way down into the technicals. So from a just an interest point of view, it's a great thing to look at because you can see what the different indicators are doing at a glance without clouding all your charts up. So if you've got plenty of time like we do today, come onto here and you can flick through and you go, hmm, Moving averages looking good. The oscillators are looking good. Um, let me take this into a chart and have a look, see what the price action is. So that's a good thing to look at. Um, but today, slim pickings around. Um, do look at the euro. The euro will be on the move later today, as will the pound, and you'll be pitching them against the dollar. Okay. And just as a little cherry on the cake, pound JPY is probably what I'll be looking at later on this afternoon. Bit of a, an odd one. I can only show you what the charts offer. I can't pull trades out the hat. If they're there, fantastic. If they're not, you wait. Simple as that. So enjoy the coffee, guys. Uh, there's my strength sheet if you want to use it to 
pick out some pairs and I'm always interested to sort of speak to you so drop your comments below and let me know how you get on so have a good day and as always do what you love and what you love. see you all on the next one Thank you.